Hi, I'm James and today I'm taking a look inside the Dell XPS 15. This is the latest model which has the very high resolution 3200 by 1800 screen and for this we need a Torx T5 screwdriver, a regular small crosshead screwdriver and we'll also be using a small plastic pry tool. So we start by removing the 10 Torx screws from around the outside edge of the chassis. And with these you want to be careful to avoid damaging the heads of the screws, um, so make sure the drive, screwdriver is pushed in correctly and that you're not slipping or risking rounding the heads of the screws. With these removed we now need to lift the little silver flap and there are two cross head screws in here. So we don't need to remove those, we just need to loosen them and we can let that magnetically slap, snap back over. And then we just need to, with the pry tool, work around the edge of the chassis. And by pulling up on this, this one's actually already been opened up once before, which makes things a little easier. But by lifting and pulling with that, And with a little persuasion, this brings off the back of the laptop. Now this particular model has the hybrid uh, MSATA SSD and one terabyte hard drive, which means we have some the smaller battery here. Um, we also have 16 gigs of memory with two 8 gig DIMMs here. These can be easily accessed and removed as so if they need replacing. Um, ultimately with the machine already shipping with 16 gigs of memory it's unlikely that you're going to want to move, remove them but it is an option there. Um, you can also with the four screws around here and then the little ribbon cable here remove the hard drive and under this ribbon which connects this door to board with USB ports and your wireless card to the main motherboard by removing that connector with the two little pull tabs, underneath we find the MSATA SSD. Uh, so you could replace this if, say, you wanted to convert this machine to have a larger 256 or 512 gigabyte SSD. So we could have a larger dedicated SSD drive and a large storage drive or remove the large storage drive and fit the full size 90 watt hour battery. We also over here have the cooling for the GeForce GT 850M, no 750M sorry, graphics and for the quad core i7 processor. These are both soldered down so there's not any great reason to remove these parts. However, if you did want to, the heatsink is a heat pipe which connects across both sides so you have to remove the six screws here and at that point you can lift out the heat pipes or more likely if you need to replace the fans due to failure these are just held in with a couple screws on each one here and in fact just here on this one uh, and these can be removed to replace should the fan fail uh, we hope you've enjoyed this quick look inside the Dell XPS 15. It has to be said, it is a very nice laptop to use and we hope this has been useful to you.